being an election year, we show maturity, we display the tolerance by accommodating the budget views, knowing too well at the end of it all, Kenya must win by having all of us unite and grow our nation as peace-loving brothers and sisters. Secondly, I would like to thank all those that have supported me in my political journey. I promise to continue being resilient, honest, and accountable to my people whom I serve with humility and distinction. For a long time, I have harbored an ambition to be the Kisi County Governor through the UDA party, where I was also the National Treasurer. There, was, there have since been developments that render my candidature through UDA party impossible. After considerable reflection and consultations with my people in Kisi County, national leaders, family and friends, my political future and ambitions must be sufficiently addressed, must, must not, cannot be sufficiently addressed by the UDA party. I therefore immediately resign as a party member and as a treasurer. I continue to talking to other political players with a view to finding political suitors that align with my vision for Kenya and that, that will respect the ethos of inclusivity by crafting a future that weaves a fabric that appreciates every Kenyan's dream and aspirations. As you can imagine, this has been such a heavy decision to make as we must always allow the voice of people we seek to lead prevail over the uh, above and above the personal ambitions and that, that the voice seeks to be wait, wanting a different direction from a path and I currently or I'm currently on. The voice of the people is ultimately the voice of God. Finally, let us all be vigilant for poli politics comes and goes, but we as people, as a people, as a nation, must remain united to allow us usher in the golden age of our republic. God bless Kenya, God bless Kisi County, and I thank you all.